Well, hello there, friends. My name is May, and I'll be leading the way along with my sidekick, Bloop. Bloop, come on out and say hello to our new friends. Hello there, everyone. Bloop here, ready for another fun day. Bloop and I have so many fun things planned. We're going to play games, sing songs, and collect tickets that will help us get a big special prize at the end of our day. Oh, what fun! Mayday! Mayday! Oh, did you hear that, Bloop? Bouncing bubbles! I sure did. That sound means someone needs our help answering a question. Hey, May. Hey, Bloop. My name is Jamie, and I have a question. How do I talk to God? Hip, hip, hooray, May! What a great question they've asked. Do you think we can answer that question today? I sure do. First, we need to think about where an answer might be. Hmm. Bloop, where do you think would be a good place to look for an answer? Oh, oh, what about a song? Do you think we can find our answer in a song? That's a great idea. Singing songs to God is always a good thing to do. Bouncing bubbles. Let's sing one now. to God. And look, we got our first ticket too. Grab that ticket and put it in your pocket. We can put this ticket away and use it for a prize at the end of the day. Oh yay! What a happy day! May, do you think singing is the only way to talk to God? I don't think so, Bloop. Maybe there's somewhere else we can look. Hmm, can you think of another place we could look for an answer to the question, how do I talk to God? Oh, oh, I know. God's word is full of answers to all kinds of questions. Great idea, Bloop. The Bible is the best place to go for answers. Let's look there now. Bouncing bubbles. Boys and girls, if you're ready to take a look into the Bible with us, say, the Bible is the book for me. The Bible is the book for me. Hello, friends. The Bible has many answers for you and me. If you're ready to hear a story from the Bible, let me see you click on your listening ears. Click, click. click. Oh, and you can't forget your special eyes. Let's put those on now. Zoop, zoop. You're definitely ready now. There are so many exciting stories in God's Word. I want to tell you a special story about Jesus. He knew that his friends could use some help knowing how to talk to God. So he taught them a prayer. It started like this. Our Father in heaven, we pray that your name will always be kept holy. The Bible tells us that God is our Father. God is a good Father who loves his kids. He takes care of them. God's name is so special 
and we always want to treat it that way. The next part of the prayer Jesus taught them says, we pray that your kingdom will come. We pray that what you want will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the food we need for each day. When we pray, it's good to tell God, we want what you want because he knows what's best. And Jesus was saying that we can ask God to give us anything that we need today, like the food that we eat. Then Jesus said to pray, forgive the sins we have done, just as we have forgiven those who did wrong to us. When we pray, we should ask God to forgive us for anything we've done wrong. And we can tell God that we will forgive people who have done things to hurt us. When we're done talking to God, we say amen to show that we mean what we've prayed and we believe God will hear it. God wants to talk to you and listen to you. You can talk to him in any way, at any time, about anything. Wow, what a great story. And look, we got another ticket because we learned another way we can talk to God. Go ahead and put that ticket in your pocket for later. Oh, yay, May! We can talk to God at any time, anywhere, in any way. You're right. I think we should celebrate what we've learned so far today. Hmm, can you think of something we could do to celebrate? Oh, hey, I say we play! Let's spin the wheel for a game. That's such a great idea, Blue. Oh, happy day! Everyone, stand up and play a game with May. The wheel landed on Animal Parade. In this game, we're going to walk and talk like different animals. Let me hear you make a pig sound. Oink, oink. Now let me see you hop like a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Let me hear you tweet like a bird. Tweet, tweet. Let's all wiggle and pretend to be worms. Everyone make your best cow noise. Moo, moo. Now let's stand tall as a giraffe. Let's all make our very best sheep sound. Ba, ba. Now let me see you get low to the ground like a teeny tiny mouse. Let's give our biggest lion roar. Roar! And for our last animal, let's make our best cat sound. Meow! Meow! Quell! Bouncing bubbles! That was great! And look at that! We got another ticket because just like the animals, we can talk to God. Grab your ticket and put it in your pocket. We'll save it for a prize later in the day. Birds talk to God by saying, tweet, tweet, just like we say, hey God. And cows say, moo, just like when we tell God, I love you. Wow, we! Everyone can talk to God, and God can talk to us too. You're right, Bloop. There's a super special verse in the Bible that tells us more about talking to God. Say it after me. No matter. No matter. What happens. What happens. Tell God. Tell God. About everything. About everything. Philippians 4, 6. Philippians 4, 6. Hey, Jamie. I just want to tell you that we found the answer to your question. You asked, how can I talk to God? And now we know. You can talk to God anytime, anywhere, in any way. When you talk, God is listening and he even talks to you too. And we got this super special microphone to help us remember that we can talk to God. Wait, so you're saying I can talk to God right now? You sure can. Okay, let's do it. You guys pray with me. 
Hey, Dad, I'm so glad I can talk to you every day. I love you. Amen. Amen. What a great prayer, Jamie. Today we learned I can talk to God. Now you say it. I can talk to God. That was great. Now say it in your quietest voice. I can talk to God. Good job. Now give us your best singing voice. I can talk to God. Well, bouncing bubbles. What a great way to end our day. You got that right, Bloop. We can remember that we can talk to God about anything, anytime, anywhere, and in any way. He's always listening and he's even talking to us. It's time for us to go, but we hope to see you on our next play day. Bye-bye.